Right now, threats against Connecticut schools are getting out of control. Three districts have closed school today, all to keep students and staff safe. Yeah, parents are wondering, when will this end? Channel 3's Dylan Fearon, that is, is live in Bristol now as police are investigating. Dylan? Well, Karen Nicole, let's first start in Bristol. Police were sent to social media posts last night, someone threatening to shoot up both public high schools in the city, Bristol Central and Bristol Eastern. Of course, police have to take that very seriously, investigate it thoroughly, and the superintendent made the tough but necessary call to close school today. We also saw other threats around Connecticut today as well. First, let's start in Torrington. Someone else making social media threats uh, against Torrington schools. The superintendent closing school today and also canceling the home football game tonight. We also saw Kara and Nicole multiple threats against Bridgeport schools. We know a 13-year-old boy was arrested in that situation as well. Police had to take these all extremely seriously. And of course, you go back to yesterday, guys, where a 13-year-old girl was arrested in Ansonia for um, allegedly posting a social media threat against the schools in that town. Police saying that student then confessed yesterday afternoon to making that social media threat. And the consequences are severe, that she was charged with threatening and breach of peace, that she said she posted it on social media just to get out of school yesterday, and she was successful in doing that, but now she's facing the consequences of being charged. So, uh, Karen, Nicole, we're seeing these threats all over the state, police investigating in multiple different towns, and the hope is that uh, the students, the children, realize the consequences of these threats and the domino effect it has on our state. We're live in Bristol. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Nicely put, Dylan. Thank you. All right.